good morning children welcome everyone to the fifth part for the chapter a snake charmer story in our last class we have learned a lot based on our main focus we learned about kalbelias snake charmers aryanath and their lifestyle we have also learned to identify poisonous and other non poisonous snakes from a wide variety found in our country and in the world so today let us start with this particular portion which says what can we do aryanath your father used to travel with me ever since he was a young child he learned to play the bean without being taught lines conveys that aryanath's father was a very talented fellow who by mere observing learned the art of playing bean these days it is difficult now the government has made a law that no one can catch wild animals and keep them some people kill the animals and sell their skin at high prices so from this lines it's clear they are signifying towards poachers who illegally catch animals and kill them and slaughter them for money so they made a law against this now with this law how will we learn earn our livelihood now roshan nath ji is very worried about how they could earn their livelihood as snake charming is the only art they know we people have never killed snakes and sold their skin now we will learn something about a village in india which is famous for its snake charmers snake charming is a century old tradition among the bedia people of india so we can say the bedia people are the ori- original ones who earned their livelihood from snake charming charmers say they provide an essential service to the locals by handling and removing snakes in the area so that's quite a valid point snakes when entered in people's house are hard to remove and 
experts are needed to take care of them and that's where Vedya people arrive. But many argues snake charming is cruel to animals. As we know in snake charming snakes are kept captive. So keeping an animal away from its natural order and natural home that seems cruel and officials in the country have outlawed the practice leaving many bedia families unable to support themselves in terms of earning Vedya peoples are among the poorest peoples in India earning just around 1 or 2 dollars a day that's because snake charming was banned in India in 1972 as a part of wildlife protection act while enforcement of the law had for years has been relatively lax officials have begun cracking down on the practice in the last decade the bill prohibits residents from keeping or using wild animals for commercial purpose allowing officials through offenders in jail or requiring them to pay hefty fines and that is one of the major reasons why bedia peoples face the great crisis where they could hardly get to manage their livelihood on a daily basis now let us again move back to the chapter we keep the snake in very bad conditions if we wanted we too could have earned a lot of money by killing snakes it is told by the people that for the kalbelia peoples keep the snakes in very bad conditions but when we come in contact with roshan nath ji we come to know the actual reality that they pray to the snake god they praise the deity and they never kill a snake for money but we could never do that snakes are our treasure that we pass on from one generation to another we even gift snakes to our daughters when they get married so kalbelia peoples offer snakes during marriage in our kalbelia dance we also have movements similar to the dance of the snake aryanath will you have to make a different life for yourself you have got your father's gift of playing the bean you and your cousins can form a bean party and entertain people here in this particular paragraph we get to know about the instrument bean which is a very old heritage 
of Indian culture. Peoples like Aryanath and Roshan Nathji who kept the great culture alive pass the skill of playing this instrument from one generation to the next. But do not waste their knowledge about snakes. You have got your elders. Roshan Nathji also emphasized particularly on the knowledge that Aryanath possesses about snakes and tells him to utilize his knowledge for public good. Roshan Ji conveys to his grandson, share your knowledge about snakes with children who live in town and cities. Tell them that they should not be scared of snakes. So Roshan Nathji did not want the affection towards snakes for the Kalbalian tribe to be only within their reach, but for the world and the upcoming generation to understand the value that they endured within their hearts for generations. He tells Aryanath to always value his knowledge and teach children living in cities and towns about snakes being poisonous and snakes which are harmless. Tell them how snakes are friends to the farmers. Do you know how? Can you all tell me how snakes can be friend to the farmers? Let us see. They eat the rats in the fields. Otherwise, rats would eat the crops. So, in a way, we can say that snakes are rather friends when it comes to farmers as they eat the rats who destroys the hard work been put out by the farmers over the year. Roshanaji wants Aryanath to convey this message and these points in particular to the new peoples so that they can value snakes rather than considering it as a mere threat which can be easily removed. So, children, 
कैन यू टेल मी बेस्ड ऑन योर ओपिनियन सो स्नेक चार्मिंग इज अ गुड थिंग और ए बैड कैचिंग स्नेक्स एंड कीपिंग दम इन क्लोज कंटेनर्स इज दैट ए गुड लाइफ और द पीपल्स हु प्राइमली डिपेंड ऑन स्नेक चार्मिंग टू अर्न द लिविंग do they do the right thing or the wrong thing what do you think tell me so children okay students it's time for some activity today's activity for the day would be for all of you to gather information about tribes in india who solely depend on a particular art just like we learned about kalbelias who solely depend on snake charming to earn their livelihood you need to find out the specific tribes in india who depend on specific kinds of skills to earn their livelihood make a list of the tribes and what kind of art do they relate to for earning the basic necessities so children that would be all for this video we will get to learn more in our next video see you then